Arais TV scatter in the early half today. As Rufayo senior of Arais TV scatter the whole show, he finished when Lamet Inubu and Mama Yakubu in a live television program. Everywhere shake is shake the lights table and discuss Mama Yakubu to do what he did in the early half today. And people have been staging their protest now that nothing must happen to Rufayo senior of Arais News. You know, it's normally news that the Supreme Court justifies Paul Lamet Inubu and including Mama Yakubu. They were justified in the Supreme Court as far as the 2020 election is concerned. But something happened in the early hour of today. Mama Yakubu did another thing in the early hour of today. And this man will find need to deal with him few hours ago. Come and see what is happening with it. You can share this video and show you share it. After the fight deal with him, come and see what they did. Come and see what they did after the fight sending dealt with them in the early hour of today. Things are going in this country. If you can share this video with it and show you share it. Share it to different social media platforms. Let it go viral. And if you can share it, just like it as you're watching it. Like it, give it a thumb up so that it will be recommended for us. We'll be there stay connected. I'm going back again. Welcome you back to Lachibong Wash TV. I don't have violence for you today. The home of religious gossip. And the boys who live the fight for Mohammed. What is happening in the Christian world? Join now to make sense with Lachibong. Hello my great and wonderful viewers, welcome me back to Lajibo Watch TV. For those of you coming across the channel for the very first time, make sure you click the rest of the button appearing on your video screen and do where to click the notification bell icon so that whenever we drop a new video in few hours time, YouTube will easily let you to know. A lot of things are already going wrong as far as Nigeria is concerned, things are already going wrong. Nigeria is already sinking in the sea and it's already capsizing. The final signal of Arise TV have finally come out to scatter table today. It's spoiled everywhere. Mamma Yakubu and Bola Ahmed Tinubu, they are in serious trouble at the moment because what they are doing to Nigerians at the moment, Nigerians have gotten to a point where they are saying that they can't take this anymore. Nothing can be taken anymore. And as Rufa Asini spoke in the early half today, he got the back of a lot of Nigerians because a lot of Nigerians begin to state protest that nothing must happen to Rufa Asini of a right news. A single year must not be removed from himself because it is obvious that a lot of Nigerian politicians, they dislike and they don't want anything to come from Rufa Asini. They don't want anything to do with Rufa and they dislike him so well. Due to the fact that it's not like other journalists because other journalists in Nigeria it is obvious that they will see the truth but for them to come out to say the truth as it is, it is very difficult for them to say it because they know the kind of country that they are. They know that there are laws in this country but the laws are blind and the laws are not working. The law only works when it is only applied on the poor masses. It is only working when it is applied on the common men and all of that. But the law will never be applied when it comes to politicians and great men and big men, rich men around the society. But when it comes to common men, the law is very, very effective. Now, a lot of journalists know this fact that the law of the country is not working. So they always keep moat, even when they see the truth, they will be signing it. They will never come out to say the truth because they know that anything can happen. They can be killed and anything can happen as far as this country is concerned. Because the society have strongly believed now that the most dangerous set of people in Nigeria, as far as Nigeria is concerned now, are the politicians because there is nothing they can do to get into power and they don't want anything to spoil their political ambition and all of that. They don't want anything to spoil their political careers so they can do anything. They can choose to eliminate anybody that wants to cross their way and all of that. That's why a lot of journalists are not talking as far as this country is concerned. But thank God for sure, Kimbalo here of Chinese Television and Rufai Hosseini of Arise News. But Rufai Hosseini have come out with another show today again. Everywhere is poor. Mamo Yakubu shaking the LA after the hope that we can share this video and show you stay connected to the end of the video and share it. Share to different social media platforms as you're watching it. And if you can share it, ensure you like it. Like it as you're watching it so that you should be recommended for us so that we get to the last person. Give it a thumb up. You know, I said it in many of my videos. I said the shenanigans that APC are performing at the moment is due to two reasons. It's due to the fact that PDP failed us in this country and it's due to the fact that the masses, the people of Nigeria are still okay with it. They are silent because a lot of things are already going wrong in this country. Things did not go wrong like this in the regime of Buhari when people are already in and they begin to stage protest and all of that. So a lot of people are already staging protests in Nigeria now. There's no doubt about that. But all their protest is still under and is still controlled by ethnicity and tribalism and all of that. So that is still what is happening 
playing in Nigeria at the moment. That is why I said it. I said it is until Nigerians are ready for the change. That is when these politicians can change because they have seen Nigerians as set of nonsense. They have seen Nigerians as fools. They have seen Nigerians as weapons that they are using to step into power and all of that. You can imagine the level of hardship that is happening in Nigeria. People cannot afford to square men and all of that. And a lot of people are dying of hunger on daily basis and all of that. People are doing what they are not supposed to do due to the fact that they can't even bring food to their table again and all of that. But at the end of the day, election will come in the state level and you will still see some people that will still dying for politicians and all of that. In the level that Nigeria is right now, some people can still sit down around a table with some politicians and they will still collect some bribe called money and they will still work against the will of the people in the name of the fact that the politician sit them down and give them money and they forget their sense so that is what is happening i said it i said there's nothing these politicians can do without the help of the masses there's no shenanigans they can perform there's no banner post that can be stolen without the help of the people without the help of the poor masses you can see what happened in Imo state how they stole banner buses and how they do a lot of things how they scatter different poly units you will now tell me is it the politician is it the governorship candidate of that Imo state that go to different poly units and scatter tables and spoil things and carry banner bus and all of that no it is still the people it is until the people come to their common sense it is until the people realize that these people are using them that is when things will go well in this country but Rufaya finally come out to shake everywhere. I next Shama shake in the early hour of today, including Bola Amen Tinubu. After a fight did this in the early hour of today, they came back and they do this. Look at what they did in the early hour of today. You will see that Nigeria is going nowhere. Take connected obedience. I'll come back again. <laughs> Announcement that the incumbent governor of Imo State, Hope Uzadimba, is the winner of the state governorship election held on Saturday. Speaking at the coalition center in the state capital, the returning officer, Professor Bayomi Fashino, Declared Uzodima of the All Progressive Cong Congress as the victor with 540,000 votes, 308. Uh, Samuel Ayan of the People's Democratic Party came a distant second with 71,503 votes, and after that, Chon of the Labour Party polled 64,081 votes to so emerge in third position. The Labour Party governorship candidate in Imo State is rejecting the result of the election. After the Chon, it denounced the process saying it was marred by irregularities including vote buying and assault on Labour Party agents including the state's party's chairman. It's calling INEC to cancel the election or it will take the matter to court. There was no vote in so many uh, local governments in, in the state. And the places where we voted, they carried, they refused to upload the results. Claiming, you see, claiming that uh, it wasn't uploading. In some places, when the youth got restive and, and wanted to attack them, they still started uploading automatically. So, and then finally, they didn't want to collate at the World Collation Centers. It was planned. And these were the assurances they gave us before this election. So there was no election, as a matter of fact. Then they carried all collation to local government, uh, uh, some to local government headquarters, very few to INEC uh, uh, local government offices. And when they got there, they banned all the other uh, uh, party agents. Allowed only party agents, APC store administrators, APC officials, commissioners, gained entry. Meanwhile, all other parties were shot up by the security agencies that are supposed to protect the process. I have not lost hope on the judiciary yet because um, there are so many men of, of integrity in the judiciary. You know, so I have hopes that the right thing will be done. I'm calling out the INEC chairman not to, not to, uh, 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 I mean, to stop this process, to cancel this uh, election. There was no election yesterday. I'm calling Professor Mahmoud. Cancel this election. What about you, Sherry Gordon? Well, I mean, uh, off cycle elections in uh, three states uh, Kogi, Bayesa, and Imo. And we've seen the uh, detailed report from uh, uh, Imo there, and uh, Senator Atana Chono, who was on this day live on this station uh, yesterday. In Imo State, what uh, Labour Party's uh, Senator Atana uh, Achono Senator Samuel Anyang of the People's Democratic Party, who came second in the uh, declaration of results, and Tony Wulu 
Uh, that's the uh, running mate to Senator Altan Achono. Raised specific issues. First, they said beavers was not used in many places. There was violence in parts of the state. We just had Senator Altan Achono talking about how uh, his party's chairman was uh, uh, beating. Then the point made by Tony Wulu about the security agencies are not playing their part. And of course, you know, ballot snatching, um, the uh, results on the uh, results sheets are not aligning with what was put stead on the IREV. And observers, Yaga Africa, Huriwa, and other observers saying that, look, the process was marred by thuggery, by irregularities. The only person who seems to be very happy with the outcome is the uh, governor of the state uh, who has been declared uh, re-elected and uh, in that his uh, press statement he was even thanking the local uh, branch of the Nigerian uh, Labour Congress and other associations and that for him his emergence as uh, the winner is uh, a vindication uh, of the fact in his view that he won the election in 20, uh, 2019 or was it 2020 and he had to go all the way 2019 and he had to go all the way uh, to supreme court uh, before he was uh, declared winner in 2020 so that's where we are there and he says it's a it's a new level of uh, shared prosperity that is promising uh, the people but generally the election whether it's in imo or is in kogi or is in uh, bias state you know um didn't indicate that lessons have been learned before this election uh, we were told that uh, by INEC, that INEC had learned quite a number of lessons that there will be no uh, glitches that there will be a, you know a smooth free and fair process uh, but we saw allegations of security uh, agencies being compromised we've also had reports of actual you know a violence on election day which raises a question about the integrity of the electoral process and how we can on it uh, but in any case governor obuzo dima has uh, secured the second time and the margin of lead is so is so wide that even if the matter were to be contested in court uh you know uh, it may be difficult you know but what uh, the uh, apc has been able to uh, establish in Nemo state is that it has the confidence of the people uh, in it. But there are many who also believe that, you know, that election uh, in Imo state, as, as is the case elsewhere too, uh, was not a free and fair uh, process, which is unfortunate that, you know, what we have in Nigeria is a tainted electoral process, as we have seen in Imo and as we will see in Kogi and also in Bayesa. One thing is certain, if we made any gains from 2015 elections, we have lost everything today. And we're back to square one. And I had to ask INEC, what is the matter? Why is it that our elections are this way? The shenanigan reported in this election is something of biblical proportions. Yaga released a report asking INEC in Imo that some local governments that they said the election was not going to hold, how come their results appeared on IREV? I ask INEC again, what is the matter? Is it that we can't conduct elections that are peaceful? Also, the security authorities, in some regards they tried, but in some regards they didn't do well. Have we built a society now that we just need to kill as much as possible to be able to win elections? And if we claim we want to serve the people, then what's the way forward? Uriwa has also come out to condemn these elections. We have seen how the process have gone in Imo. Some of the other parties, other governors have congratulated Governor Uzo Dima. But like I asked in the last election, for those that have won, what did we win now? Do we win the confidence of the people and the hope in our electoral process or we won the annoyance and the disdain? and the repulsion of the people as regards how electoral process has gone. Same problem again in the last election is what is repeating itself again. Not wanting to upload to the IRF. So why do we put up the IRF in the first place if we are going to have allegations of people not wanting to upload to the IRF? This selective uploading. 
And these are the questions I asked on Friday here. So what do we want for our country? Is this the kind of democracy we want to practice? I'd like to sound this word of instruction and warning. Those that are benefiting from this flawed system today, they should remember you might be a big fish in a little pond. It doesn't mean you have won because along will come a bigger fish and you will be lost every river that you try to cross. You can say I'm quoting Coldplay this morning. But that's the truth. When they do it to you, it's not complete. But we can't start to build a society where we perpetrate all of this against one another in our electoral process. Let us watch it and be guided. Nigeria's Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has announced Ahmed Dusman Dododo as the All Progressive Congress as the winner of the Kogi State Governorship election. Speaking at INEC Coalition Center in Kogi State Capital, the returning officer for the election declared Dododo as the victor with 446,237 votes. Murtala Jakov, SDP, came second with 259,052 votes. And Dino Belaya of the PDP, came third with 46,362 votes in the elections. I want to sincerely express my gratitude and appreciation to His Excellency President Bola Ahmed Dinu, His Excellency Vice President Kashim Shetima, His Excellency Alaji Ayabilo, his Excellency, the National Chairman of our Green Party, and his NWC members, or every other governors of our Green Party. I want to appreciate them for placing their trust in me and my team. They are faith in our mission to move Kogi State for its both humbling and its power. I also extend my gratitude to INET Chairman and his team, the security agencies, and all stakeholders that have played a crucial role in ensuring a free fair and credible election. A template has been laid by the National Chairman of INEC and as such, I look forward to the nation to build on this working and transparent template. I want to appreciate you all, all our members, all the executive members his Excellency for your support, guidance and trust in our collective mission to serve the good people of Kogi State. Election has come and gone. I pledge to serve and to lead with accountability, transparency and inclusivity. The Social Democratic Party, SDP, has called for the cancellation of election results in five local government areas in Kogi State on Saturday's governorship election, where it alleged that the results were massively rigged. Addressing journalists in Abuja, National Chairman of the Party, Shio Gapabam, said results collated in the affected areas where they alleged that there were three incidents of overvoting were unacceptable to the party, calling on the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, not to reward fraudulent acts in the conduct of governorship elections. SDP rejected the results and called on President Bola Tinubu to urgently intervene and rescue Nigeria for what he described as daylight robbery to subvert the will of the people. INEC integrity have been compromised in certain areas. Those individuals responsible, like what INEC have said in their press release, they will found them. They've said that several times, but I hope this one is too visible. In one state, results sheet were missing. And those are the areas we are disputing where we had that a lot of rigging and uh, production of votes have been made. We as SDP, as the National Chairman of the Party and our NWC members here, we rejected this in totality. We are not in any confrontation with INEC. INEC are very close to us 
as a political party. We are working with them very closely. And it's the reason why we decided to be very transparent, to be very open in making our points based on the facts available to us, which is also available to, to INEC as an umpire that is responsible for counting votes and responsible for cancelling elections where there are disputes. And all of you have these copies that I'm using, which has emanated from INEC, IRF, and the press conference that was released by INEC itself, not from SGP here, we did not manufacture this. We have also, like I said, registered our protest, which have been submitted in Lokoja. INEC chairman have been copied. We hope and we pray he will do the needful, the INEC as an organization will do the needful to avoid uh, unnecessary crisis nationwide based on what INEC have done, based on what INEC have released, and based on what we have also registered, based on what we deducted from INEC IRF and the press conference, I mean press release that were released by, by, by INEC uh, themselves. Uh, our candidate have also registered his own protest, uh, rejecting uh, these figures that have been manufactured. Thank you for staying connected, my great and wonderful viewers. You can hear what happened in this whole scenario. You know, you can see that the Imo State governorship election, the humanitarian election took place, and they announced Hope Uzo Dima as the governor elect. That was what happened, and this sparked up a lot of reactions on different social media platforms because this Hope Uzo Dima in question is an APC candidate, and this same guy in question made Imo State to suffer for four years, straight four years. People can now afford to breathe in Imo State. And when this guy came out to make his campaign, a lot of people did not come out for the campaign and all of that, they did not put their support for him. And it is very obvious that they did not want this guy again because he failed to pay civil servant money and all of that. He refused to pay salaries and he refused to construct roads. He refused to do any facility in the society. Even the hospital is not working fine in Imo State. People are already complaining. And yet this man came out and when he was making his campaign, he can't even relate to what he has done in the state that will make them to give him four years again he was only telling them promising them new things even after he did not do the things that he promised them before four years you know all those things happened and yet this same man came out and the INEC announced the electoral result and this guy won 27 local government out of 27 local government in Imo state that shows that this guy did not lose any local government in Imo state so how come is that this is the first record as far as nigeria is concerned nobody have broken this record before you know i told you i said it in one of my videos, I said Tinubu is supposed to be in the Guinness Book of World Record. But now, Hope Uzo Dima is supposed to be in the Guinness Book of World Record. They need to put his name in the Guinness Book of World Record because nobody has ever tried this as far as democracy is concerned in Nigeria, where people do not want someone and the person won the whole local government in the place and he won with the vote of over 540,000. And the runner up, the second person, which is the PDP, had around 70 something thousand vote so where on net is this happening if not for nigeria and it is obvious that when the election was taking place a lot of things went wrong they were snatching the banner buses and they were a lot of things they scattered different police units i see that is not enough yes these are some public and even military agencies they arrested some people carrying guns and all of that a lot of bullets in their hand and a lot of people carry money to buy votes yes these arrest all those ones in under apc under apc take note of that word they confess that they work for APC. Those ones that have just arrested work for APC. And those ones that were carrying guns with bullets that were arrested by military agents and all of that. All those ones too, they said they work for APC. And even when they were arrested, if you see the video when they circulated on media, these guys, after they arrested them, they were even laughing because they know that nothing will happen because they are working for APC because APC is the demon that is terrorizing us in this country at the moment. And with everything, with the hijacking of Bannon Boss, and all of that, they still announce Hope Uzodima as the governor elect. So that is what Rufai is reacting to. Is it now that we need to be fighting ourselves, we need to be killing ourselves so that we can become the governor or we can hold the democratic position in this country? That is what is happening. It happened in the presidential election. You can see what Tinubu did. This is the APC. So if Tinubu can do such, so you should be expecting more from all these governors of APC and all of that because things are already going on from the top and now it's 
now floating down to the bottom even it will even happen even to the local government level now opus of the man navigated this way down to power with beatings and all of that they beat a lot of voters and they did a lot of things and yet i did not cancel this election even dino melaye in kogi state election he came out this guy came out bluntly he said people should stop voting because i have already write out the number of votes that they want to allocate to apc in different local government area that i have already write it out in their own shit you know he said they have already write out their figures that people should stop voting in different polling units let now see if people do not vote if vote did not take place in a particular polling unit let's see the result that will come out there but it is obvious that even in the polling units where they did not vote the result came out and people were kind of astonished and a lot of people were surprised because where vote did not take place they counted vote there and they allocated number of votes there and APC won all those places now how come is it beast or is it vampire that vote in all those places that is what we are talking about in this country now at the end of the day they are not saying that they are taking the issue to court you can hear what that guy said that Labour Party person in Imo State he said it's not okay with the hope who's a demand being announced at the government elect because it's believed that election did not take place now he said they are taking it to court now my opinion is they don't need to take all these things to court again because that judiciary is just a waste of time and waste of financial resources it's a total waste of financial resources judiciary is not working in the country again the man said he believes in the judiciary that was what Peter Abbey said himself he said he believes in the judiciary but mind you the judiciary of 2001 2003 is different from the judiciary of 2022 2023 is fucking different so that is what is happening there's no point in you going to the judiciary or all of that because the judiciary themselves the judicial system of nigeria they are working for who they are working for they are working for the ruling party so there's no point in going to the court again it's just a total waste of money and all of that that's on my own simple opinion it is until nigeria rise up and they said no to all these things that are happening in the political system that is when all these shenanigans will stop if not it won't stop that is what Rafael Sene said so I would like guys to drop your opinion in the comment section on this video what do you think drop your opinion as I'm going to get another 20 minutes for you make sure you follow me on all my social media handles on Facebook at Lipo Watch TV and Lipo Entertainment and on Instagram at Lajipo guess what guys see you in my next video bye Pastor where they lie on top be pastor For like you pop watch TV yeah. Yeah. Pastor where they back where where yeah. Politician where they do pass me say for a leader Why they why you waiting for church Pana 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 pana